This is Twit. You don't want to talk about the Andreessen essay? Sure. Mark Andreessen says AI. I didn't read it. Yeah, I don't believe anything Mark says, but AI will save yeah. the world. <laughs> Mark, by the way, a venture capitalist with Andreessen Horowitz, who has been promoting Web3, yep. among yep. other things, uh, yep. as kind of an axe to grind. So I, I tweeted, I actually read the whole thing, so you don't have to. Thank you. Um, Thank you. And he gets, he starts off with ridiculous bromides, like... Well, uh, AI can make everything good. we care about better. Right. And then he goes on about how we're all going to have these wonderful assistants. Every child will have an AI tutor. Every person will have an AI coach or mentor. No. Uh, every scientist will have one. No, 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 no. What he does, it's interesting in here. Get ready, Ant. Get ready. Oh, I, I, I can't. I, I Moral can. panic. Moral panic. There we go. There we go. Bad are. feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Thank God, you, I Mr. Benito. <laughs> <laughs> that one you have to see in the video. That's a, a head of Jeff floating through a sign that says moral panic. It's saying, I've got a bad it's feeling panic. about this. So what he goes on, he he says that there are the you know the religious people who are saying AI has bad force. He calls the AI boys who are saying it's going to kill everybody bootleggers because they're trying to promote themselves. Yes, and it goes through that. He's so right there. That He's is. right there. He's absolutely right. And he said, then he goes to the risks. Will AI kill us? No. No. Will it ruin society? No. Will it take all the jobs? No. And he has backup for that. Some of that. Will it lead to crippling inequality? Well, we can debate about that because it's just capitalism. Will lead to bad people doing bad things? Yes, it will. Hmm. Um, okay. And then he goes on. Okay. Then his final his final shtick is what's to be done. Well, this is amusing because it's a BC uh, libertarian saying, "Well, don't regulate AI. Don't do regulatory capture. Uh, allow open source." And I agree with that because we're going to have more competition. I think we need more competition. I think that's true. And what we see happening in Europe is they're going to try to regulate the hell out of it and stop. Um, AI from being open source, which I also agree would be a mistake. So I you said know, nice things about it on Twitter, but of course good. he can't see it because he blocks me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? I take back what I said because he's absolutely, in this case, right. I agree with everything he yeah. said. I, I, I do too, actually. Yeah, almost. almost but he, he, there is there is a little bluster uh, in it about how it's going to, you know, it's going to change all of our lives and, and save the world. It's not going to do that. Um, you know, I, I, it occurred to me too that it's the mistake of, it's the problem of using the word intelligence with this stuff. It epitomizes it from the start. It's not intelligence. It's an augmenting right. thing to help us do what we want to do. And it will be more efficient. And it will gain knowledge of all kinds of things. It will do neat stuff. But it's not going to change. It's not going to save the world. Nor is it going to destroy the world. I think we should have a new segment on this show called Bromide and Bluster. <laughs> I, I, really, I really like that. That's a show title. That's really good. Uh, if you get past the bromides... And ignore the bluster. What he's saying is actually, I think, a pretty good prescription yeah. for how we should treat AI going forward. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, the bromide was in human intelligence makes a very broad range of life outcomes better. Uh, no, no poop. <laughs> um, the bluster. Every person will have an AI assistant, coach, mentor, trainer, advisor, therapist that is infinitely patient, infinitely compassionate, infinitely knowledgeable, and infinitely helpful. Mm, if no, you no. if you believe that, then you should go to this April Fool's mm -hmm. Substack, the state of AI, written by an AI. By AI. And uh, read that. I dare you for a few weeks, and uh, you will. <laughs> wait, then... wait, wait, wait. Go to go to that first. Go down a little bit, Leo, because the paragraph just amused the hell out of me. The, well, right there. The last sentence there, fasten your seatbelts for an insightful, engaging, and potentially worrisome ride. But the thing is, Leo, that paper, Natural Selection Favors AIs Over Humans, that's a real paper. Oh. And I read it, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like out of this long-termism term thing, that AIs are going to become their own bodies, and then they're going to compete with each other. And the, the you know, the, 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 it's Darwin time. It's, it's Daffy Digital Darwin that the most powerful AI will survive over all the others. Yeah. I do like this. Uh, in short, anything that people do with their natural intelligence today can be done much better with AI, and we will be able to take on new challenges that have been yeah. impossible to tackle without AI. Yeah. Open AI. Some things people could have, but not all. Not all. I mean no, not all. Tech Break is brought to you by 
ACI Learning. IT skills are outdated in about 18 months. Stay ahead of the curve and future-proof your business competitiveness with customizable, entertaining training. Fill out the form at go.acilearning.com twit for more information on a free two-week training trial for your team. 